Hello and welcome to Total Extreme Wrestling. Now this is something new for me to do. I mean I've done this game before, never really done the real world. Usually I do my own universe. Uh, which is a mixture of uh, my fantasy stuff, my like creative wrestlers and that. And uh, mixed with the Cornell first, mixed with the Thunder first, mixed with London first. But yeah, uh, doing real well. Starting in September 1990. Uh, back when it was called a WWF. Where you had the Hulk Hogan's Ultimate Warriors and whatnot. I mean, currently the champion is the Ultimate Warrior. Because it's September, yeah, he won the belt at WrestleMania against Hulk Hogan. He's supposed to be the Parson of the Torch, but he's been a... Isn't uh, bit no made no what? Uh, Kerry Von Eric or Texas Tornado? Was he called? King of the Ring, World Tag Team, Bret Hart and Jim Neidhart. But yeah, I'm gonna try to focus on building Bret Hart up. I want to get Hulk Hogan out of the top of the picture. You know, I don't. I don't, uh, I mean, it's not that, uh, I, yeah, I don't like him, okay? I'm not a big Hulkamania fan. Uh, Ric Flair, wouldn't mind getting him into the WWF. Uh, Company Wars, got he, New Japan Pro, only a medium? Uh, so WWF is number one in the entire world. Does that actually... I mean, this was the Monday Night Raw Wars, right? It wasn't being number one in the world, it was just being number one in the USA. Uh, I want to do a lot of things different from the real life what happened. Hopefully I don't need to screw Bret Hart over if I ever get to 1997 Survivor Series. Uh, hopefully I can bring in a lot of good talent. Get some of the good guys in early. Get rid of some of these cartoonish characters. Ultimate cartoon characters. Uh, bring the attitude early. And beat up WCW by their company. Get their nice titles. I mean, let's just. Talk about this one. The big gold belt. Mm mm mm. Love it. Uh, get the United States in. I mean, wh why wasn't this implemented into uh, WWE? I mean, I, I don't particularly know what went on with WCW back in uh, 2001 and, and prior to that. I knew that it was a thing, I knew about Bill Goldberg, but my wrestling knowledge in the 90s is limited. I mean, oh, I learned everything from the games, I only played wrestling games, I'm not a big wrestling fan itself. I just remember when I was a little kid, I was like, ooh, Brett the Hitman Heart, and then, yeah. And then I think I gravitated to mostly the Rock and Stone Cold until Kurt Angle came on the scene. I was like, oh yeah, techno wrestler, like him, like him. I mean, Austin and the Rock was there mostly for the entertainment purpose. Uh, so everything. Uh, let's talk about fence and TV. So we do. Weekly show on Tuesday and Wednesday. Now I'll do the first one, but I'm mostly going to be focusing on the main events for the series. Well, just the events for this series. The shows don't matter. I do. Should I do one of each? I'll probably do one of each. Focus on Raw every now and again, especially when I build up Attitude Era stuff. Mostly 
the at Madison Square Garden every Monday. Mm. Well, the third week. I mean, every month then. So yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, but one of the biggest upcoming events will be Survivor Series. But our next event is Madison Square Garden in 14 days. So I'll probably do Superstars and then see uh, Madison Square Garden. Rick Rude, Contra Half, sort all this out. I'm just explaining stuff. And figure out it is. Yeah. Ultimate War, even though Hulk Hogan's more over. I mean, this is around the time they wanted to take the belt off of Warrior and put it back on Hogan. So they had a transition champion, which was. Uh, God. The Iraqi sympathizer, uh, Sergeant Slaughter. Right? Sergeant Slaughter? Let me just check the roster. Go down to the S. Sergeant Slaughter, yeah. Man, I. Ugh, most of these names. I do know of them, just. Yeah, I prefer people like Mr. Perfect, uh, Rick Rude, Roddy Piper, Randy Savage, uh, Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels. We don't have a lot of great talent. Oh, The Undertaker, because he makes his first appearance. The British Bulldog. You'll see, you'll see what I have uh, planned. But yep, yeah. I shall see you at the. at. Superstars. Alright. So, for the first Superstar that I'm doing, uh, mostly just a throwaway thing. Just seeing what everyone's at. Oh, the wrong demolition. Right, I was gonna say putting a bribery of a demolition versus Legion of Doom, you know. But uh, I did a crash one. Didn't see, see the two, wasn't thinking. I was doing the drag thing, but in a pre-show bout that had good heat and decent wrestling, Tito Santana and the Legion of Doom defeat Akeem and Demolition. Yeah. And Tito Santana submitted acts with a finger full leg lock. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, in a pre-show match that had great heat and decent wrestling, Jimmy Snooker defeats Dino Bravo. Pink Bull, Superfly Splash, of course. Uh, and about the head break and decent wrestling, Jake Roberts defeat Tugboat. Pink Bull with a DDT. And of course, Jake Roberts doing the best. Tugboat, pretty. Ugh. I mean, I, I, as I said, I just want to get rid of cartoon characters. Nothing personal, just, you know. Uh, you know, freestyle angle. I don't even. I don't know Jim uh, Bernzel, but I know Randy Savage and Jim Bernzel uh, underperform. But you know, you have Randy the Macho Man, Randy, Savage, Randy the Macho Man Savage, being like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna kick some butt tonight. God, such a kid friendly show. In a few years, I'd be saying some words like ass and stuff. Then, bitch! Then, probably had some other naughty words. But yeah. 
just cooling him out. Saying that he's gonna beat him. And Randy Savage defeats him in 14 minutes and 50 seconds. And painful. 74. Wow, I wasn't expecting Jim Brunzel to get hit there. But I guess it's all due to Randy Savage mostly. It should be a, should be an honor wrestling against me. Slim Jims and all. Yeah. So Angle, Hulk Hogan, and Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man, because they're the most popular guys. I get a hundred straight off the bat. Hulk Hogan. Yeah, that's the only storyline that I could think of at the moment. But now I've got some others coming. Brains are popping. And he's like, brother, this Survivor Series, my team's gonna beat your team. And the million dollar man is like, money, money, money. And he's gonna whoop his ass. Say that he's got a special something for his team at the Survivor Series. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Right, and then uh, Roddy Piper hitting a. Uh, the Ultimate Wild. The segment deserved better color commentary. Ugh. Saying that he's gonna beat the Ultimate Warrior tonight in the main event, which is up next. And let's see, in a bout that had fantastic heat and great wrestling, the Ultimate Warrior defeats Roddy Piper. Unfortunate, but with a running splash. Maybe. You can beat him if I uh, boost up your popularity. Because the Ultimate Warrior, his in ring performance, it stinks. But, also, oh, 85 on the. Right, God. Even though I made a mistake with bookings and stuff, you would have gained popularity in two American regions, but growth was restricted due to limited numbers of viewers there. A short but sweet uh, superstars. Man, it is hard to say WWF nowadays. But yeah, that'd be the first episode. I guess I can uh, talk about the lead up to it for before the next episode. But yeah. Thank you for watching, I've been Iron Paradise, this has been, man, uh, mm, rebuilding WWE in the 90s, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time, bye.